So guys, back to the toe kick that we were looking at in the basement, kind of in a draw form. Here's what it looks like in a fish form underneath of a cabinet. This has to be, it happens to be a custom made cabinet that somebody made for a, um, a very old kitchen. So uh, somebody decided to actually build this cabinet. But here's what the toe kick actually ends up looking like after its installation and then this blows straight across the floor. And as you can see with this island, it's a perfectly safe space, space saving, excuse me, um, piece of equipment to get the heat into this room. So I'm gonna tell you, in this 20 by 20 kitchen, there is almost nowhere where you could put a heating device and not create some kind of difficulty or cost yourself the efficiency of the heater. Because of its location, this thing heats this whole kitchen really, really thoroughly and does a great job. It is on its own zone. Uh, it does have its own thermostat and it works perfect because of that. No matter what I'm doing in the kitchen, I'm, I'm a cook and this is my kitchen. Um, no matter what I'm doing, um, uh, whether it be Thanksgiving or, you know, uh, whatever I could be doing as far as the amount of cooking I do. I do a lot of cooking and I can have a lot of stuff going on. The thermostat adjusts automatically, you know what I mean? And I don't have to worry about it being 90 degrees in my kitchen because the heat continues to run because it's running based on the rest of the house, like I said in the rest of the video. But I just wanted you guys to see what the, the finished product looked and then, you know, the air just blows out of here and it actually blows out and returns. So it goes in, out and in into this same grill. So it does not need anything else. It doesn't need a hole in the base of the cabinet to let air suck in. It doesn't need any of that stuff. It does all that work. They're designed to do it right through the front of the grill. Thanks guys.